Well, I wonder, I'm not sure how much damage she'll do to the total, but it should hopefully be a nice oh, 5,000. It's a good amount. Damn it, boy, these guys could do a little bit more damage. That'd be perfect. Whatever, this thing will be dead. Yeah, it's got 2,000 health left, so he'll be dead pretty damn quick. One attack from Kane should do it. Yeah, okay. Malboros are just very obnoxious. They can, uh... I don't know if the, the, these normal Malboros are the strong ones, or if it's the... If there's a different version of, like, the great Malboro that do... Or the really obnoxious ones. They have the bad breath attack, which is just stupid. Oh, shit. Yeah, these... This stupid thing. I think fire works on these guys. I'm gonna try it anyway. Bog Witch, yeah. These guys are very annoying. I think the frogs turn you into a frog if they attack. If they attack you at all. So it's just... They're really, really annoying. Okay, so fire does hurt them. Prayer unanswered. God damn it. I just don't remember if they attack... ...without the Bog Witch to command them or not. I mean, they die pretty easily. That's why you get rid of the Bog Witch first. Because, uh, otherwise they just... I'm serious. Yeah, they don't seem to they don't seem to be attacking without the, the bog witch to command them. So there you go. Take out the bog witch first and you're good to go. Uh what's experience to give? Yeah, barely anything. Stuff in here is just mostly irritation irritation inflicting than anything else. So yeah. Take what take what it from you. And I would really like the encounter rate to go down. And I got surprised. God damn it. Yeah, and here comes the eight billion toad casts. Of course, they keep using it on the same guy, which is just hilarious. It's like, sure, what, do whatever you gotta do, but... Okay, well, heal Cecil up, at least. I think it cancels his turn, too, when they turn him into a Toad, which means he doesn't even get to attack, even if I do manage to revive him. Or change him back. Hopefully this will kill the Bog Witch, or heal her, which would, wouldn't shock me at all. Oh, no, it hurt her. Okay. Oh, good. And there we go. That deals with that. Of course, it gives me a surprise after I just went through the whole process of saying, oh, yeah, you gotta make sure you kill the kill the bitch first and you're good to go. It's just like, her to her we're gonna surprise you the next time you get a face her. It's like, thanks. So, yeah, this is, this is all side stuff. These caves are not necessary, but they do lead to some fairly good items and such and uh, whatnot. So, it's definitely not a bad idea to do it anyway. I'll just uh, point that out, so... Of course, the encounter rate going down would be great. I think I walked around this entire circle without getting in one encounter, and then all of a sudden this gives me, like, five in five steps. Actually, no, this is the, the last floor. This isn't where I want to go. Shit, maybe I wanted to go down. Oh, yes, the... Uh... Oh, no, this is the part that hurts you. Okay, I got it backwards. It's the other section that doesn't hurt you. Of course, I left the room, so I have to recast Float. You go through mana pretty quickly in here. Just uh, not gonna lie about that either. It's it's very obnoxious, very annoying caves. This one in the Fame Arch Cave, which I don't even think is called the Fame Arch Cave. I think it's called something else. Preemptive Strike. Right. Look at all these damn little froggies. Please kill the Bog Witch. Kill her, kill her. Yeah. Look at all these frogs. They're not gonna do a damn thing now. I'm gonna confuse one of them. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. All right, whatever. I don't think she's gonna be able to kill them though. I think she's only gonna do a few hundred. But I don't know why I keep casting fire and not fire. Grip. Whatever, doesn't matter. All these are gonna die basically one hit from everything anyway. Let's just speed this battle up. I've actually been forgetting to do that recently, speeding up the uh, the fights. Come right, on. Uh, the people who actually have attack uh, attacks to them. Uh, here we go. Yeah, just to, to add irritation to the whole situation, they uh, they add an extra f couple frogs in that fight. In case you're lucky enough that uh, you gotta fight that, but I digress. I, think, I need to go back to the first floor because there's extra side caves up there. That's what it was. She looks like there's a side. Oh, what the hell? Looks like almost looks like I walked through the wall. things. <clears throat> this is something I wanted to do. 
I'm glad that has a low hit rate. I mean, it got edge, but that's the least of my worries right now. Fire run answer, crazy. And everything in here has just enough health that, of course, Kane and uh, Cecil can't alone kill one of them. I think it had like two, 200 health left, which is just obnoxious. But, uh, oh well. Bad breath, that's what I was talking about. Great, so he's got about a billion uh, side effects on him now, which is just awesome. Do I even have a remedy or anything? I don't remember if I do. I gotta have something. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna wait on him then. Toad in silence. Yeah, okay. So that's just what it does. Cast silence on you so you can't even undo it. Oh, the hell, this thing's actually casting a fire spell now. Hmm. Maybe we can just kill it and get it out of the way. Hmm. Cast cure just for a hell of it. Yes, attack. Oh, his attack, it's reset, that's right. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, come on. I think the encounter rates are exceptionally high in this in these caves too, which just kinda slows this whole process down quite a bit. Annoyingly enough. And of course he doesn't stop using uh sleep. Well it looks like he got edge again. Dumbass. Whatever. Already might gain a level. Hey, gained a level. <laughs> Fifty one. I don't think they've gained any spells in a while either, which is kind of crappy, but whatever. And then, uh, by the way, there, I don't think there is any way to completely and utterly avoid the poison paths. I think you just gotta deal with it. Um, or you can just, you know, cast float, or you can just walk over them and hope you don't get up in a battle missing, like, half your health. Because, uh, I've done that before, and that ended up costing me pretty hard, so, yeah. Try not to do it. There's a random save point here. Weird. <clears throat> Surprised. Great. Hey, these things are just weak as hell. I don't even understand why they're in this cave. I mean, I'm not complaining that they're weak, but it's definitely just kind of annoying. That you know, it's just wasting my time with a fight against somebody. I suppose compared to some of the other battles, it's not quite so bad. This gives me 891 experience. It's like, really? Come on. Of course, he's poisoned now, so I'm wasting all my damn magic. Oh my god, she's got a shitload of magic, and she's got... I hate seeing those two things. I think she's got a shitload of MP and, and whatnot, or else this would be really annoying. Uh, I thought so. There had to be an extra path over here somewhere. So yeah, this is how you get this chest. Totally tricks you up top in the other section, but... Oh, Christ. Are you kidding me? Just kill it fast, please. I hate having Malboros. They're just so fucking irritating with their bad breath attack. It's a lot worse with some of them. Some of the bad breath attacks. I don't know if the if stronger versions in this game or if it's just different, a different Final Fantasies. But some Malboros use the bad breath and they're, they they kind of confuse and and berserk and all sorts of other shit. And it's just like, are you kidding me? Like why? Why would you give one enemy so much ability? Oh, it's just frustrating. Oh, this thing should be dead pretty. They're slow, though. I mean, that's I guess that's how they sort of balance it out. They are very slow acting monsters. They don't they don't get very many turns very quickly, at least. Okay, good. Let's see what the hell's in here. But yeah, the t game totally tricks you with that elven bow. Well, I can only imagine that's stronger for Miss Rosa. Kill the bow. Yay! <laughs> Not like it really matters, but yay anyway. If I can get the rest of the map now, I should be able to. Probably save and heal up. Probably wouldn't be such a bad idea. I don't know if, I don't really understand why they put a save point on the first floor though. It just seems kinda silly, but. Back attack, great. Let's just get rid of her at least. If I can. Of course it attacks Cecil. I guess that's that's right. The uh, the draw attack does that every time. Totally forgot about that. Oh well. The hell it, I thought they, they only attacked twice? Well, that seems weird. Or was I just not thinking? He should be still a frog. There's three of them. I must have just missed something. Whatever. I don't really care, but... Is this bitch dead yet? Of course, they're in the back row, too, which I forgot about, but... 
The auto battle. Everyone just attack. Oh wow, wow, her damage actually went up a fair bit. Hmm. That's not bad, not bad at all. Of course hers still sucks, but who cares? She's not there to be uh, a melee. In fact, they even give her whips is kind of redundant, really, most of the time. Level. It's good to get ledge some levels because then you get some freaking health because he's missing so much. Yeah, this is a random. Whatever, let's just see if we can use a tent. Oops, I want to do. Where is the hell of my tents? There we go. Oh, yeah. Cracking my knuckles and stretching my arms. Urgh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I need to recast Float, though, so just keep that in mind if you do use the, uh, the tent. Thank God you could cast it on everybody. That'd be really annoying if you couldn't. Might as well save him. Might as well. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Let's get out of here. Right, let's go explore the rest of this map first, anyway. <coughs> Man, I was hacking up a... What the hell? I was hacking up a friggin' storm yesterday with my coughing. It's just so stupid. I'm getting so tired of just coughing all the damn time. Oh shit, I gotta pause this for a second. Sorry. Huh, sorry about that. I had to uh, go do something real quick. So, anyway, we're back. This is, God damn it. Of course, as soon as I come back, I'm in a friggin' fight with these stupid frog bitches again. That's what I wanted to do at all. Alright, hurry up. Hey, she's dead. Everyone, GTFO my face! Matt, ah, she confused it. That's funny. Auto battle, go! Everyone just attack. It doesn't even matter who attacks. They're gonna die in basically one hit from almost anybody. Except for those two. <laughs> and him, apparently. Really, Edge? Come on. Fucking weakling. Fucking the crap out of me! Okay. Let's keep going. It's a very slow process because everything is just taking so long and there's so many battles. A lot of the late endgame caves start to become like that too. It's really kind of annoying. Oh yes, I keep forgetting about that. Oops, that's not the right button. <sighs> Gotta cast float every single time you leave a room. I don't understand why they did that. It's just like, just purposely annoying the crap out of the player by doing that. It's like, what? I'm pretty sure the original, the, or not the original, but the version I played the first time. Um, let's just keep going around before I enter that door. Oh, surprised, great. Getting surprised by these is so annoying. I don't know what spell to use on this guy. Come on. And of course, Kane and Cecil are asleep. Great. So I have basically no damage, which is just awesome. <sighs> this is how the why these things just get really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Just cast this Zuna you know, a couple times. Hopefully she can just barbecue the stupid Malboro. I swear to God, if you silence Rosa, so this has no effect. Does that just mean that they can't actually be hit by it or what? Yeah, you're going to counter and miss. He takes a lot of damage when he's in frog form, too, because he has no, um, like, defensive stats or really anything when he's like that. It's, it's really shitty. <clears throat> okay, can we kill some of this shit now, please? God damn. Okay, at least the Malboro will be dead. Good. Now we can just deal with these stupid dual multicasting idiots. Fuckers. Hurry up. Come on, Cecil. <laughs> Don't quite have enough damage. Come on, somebody else getting an attack already. You can cast sleep on whoever the hell you want, but what, you're dead, so get the fuck out of my face. Come on. Uh, I really hate recording these caves, and I knew it was going to be like this, but it's just such a long process. I know I've said this probably like seven times by now, but it's just annoying. It just takes so long. It's nothing really. I can't really talk about anything either because it's just like er, er, you know. Um, I don't even know what cave I want to go to. Shit, fuck. Back. Oh, come on. 